This is cod with white rice, mushrooms, and green onion, and green beans. So it's cod with fennel, shallots, and a white wine butter sauce. Lemon, white wine, lemon, butter sauce. Oh my gosh, I gotta come up with the title for this. Anyway, this is what it'll look like. Well, hello, I am back in Amy Roloff's little kitchen, and I am Amy Roloff. So welcome back, thanks for joining me. And what I thought about cooking today is cod fish. So for Chris and I, because of all the holidays and we had beef, we had turkey, we had ham, and you know, sometimes a lot of that heavy meat, I just really wanted something light and simple. And that's what I'm hoping this is. I looked down a bunch of online, they had a bunch of different recipes and kind of combined certain things together because I don't know, that's what I liked. So I've got some cod fish here, three of them. Uh, we're gonna use a little bit of fennel. Look at this thing, I love this thing. Doesn't it remind you kind of like a little fan? Oh, I'm a little bit hot, a little bit hot. So I'm gonna saute up some of this fennel along with, where'd they go? Along with my shallots. This was a big shallot, so I only used like half of it. So a little bit of shallots here and a little bit of garlic is gonna go in with that. But first of all, I'm gonna start sauteing the fennel first, because that'll take a little bit longer. And I wanna saute it so it's just slightly soft, but maybe a little tinge of brown to it. So let's get going on here. Okay, my pan is getting hot, so I'm gonna do a little bit of olive oil on here. So we're having cod fish. I know, you know what, you know every time I say codfish, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the movie Peter, Peter Pan when uh, Captain Hook, I think, kept saying codfish. He was afraid of it or, I don't know, it's something in the movie uh, that he says codfish or you're cod or cod something. But every time I say codfish, it reminds me of the movie of Peter Pan or Hook with uh, Dustin Hoffman. Anyway, so I'm gonna saute the fennel here and it's really just a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and depending on how thin or how thick you slice the fennel, this could take maybe about 10 minutes. So yeah, you just, I mean, you just want them slightly brown. Just brown around the edges and stuff. I just peeled or plucked some of those off and then I will just uh, just kind of give it a rough chop. And then this will kind of be like the little topping on the fish. I think that'll go well. Okay, let's get our pan. So here we have our pan. It's a small little dish because it's only the, the two of us. And we may or may not have um, uh, leftovers. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of melted butter on there. I think that'll be good. But these are not really thick cod. Sometimes you can get thicker cod uh, fish fillets. Uh, I don't think they are as thick as I often can get a halibut. And so this will not take too long. I'll salt and pepper the fillets. I still don't have a handle on this camera thing yet. I'm just gonna lay them down in here. And then I'm gonna saute the, or salt and pepper the other half. Since these aren't very big codfish, I'm gonna do it for about eight to 10 minutes, just so they're almost all the way cooked through, but not quite. Because overall, this will take about 20 minutes. So 10 minutes here, then we're gonna combine everything with the fish and we'll put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. And right now I have it at um, 450 degrees. 400, no, 425, 450, I think that's good, depending on your oven. So like I said, pretend we did this first because this should have been cooking while we do all of that. Oops. Okay, while we have the fish in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and do the breadcrumbs. I'd rather use saltine crackers or any kind of like really plain crackers or I've used plain uh, breadcrumbs here. So about a quarter of a cup and a quarter of a cup of um, panko breadcrumb because that'll give that little nice little crunch. You do not have to put breadcrumbs on top of the fish. 
It's not necessary. I just kind of like it, so that's what I'm doing. Let's mix in a little bit of garlic, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and the butter is just to moisten it up and will also help with the toasting. But yes, I did put a little lemon zest in my breadcrumb. I just thought that would be kind of fun. And then I have still a little bit of lemon zest that I can put with the fish along with some slices. So let me see, we're almost done here. Okay, see, it's starting to cook. It's starting to get that opaque white. So it really doesn't have that much longer to go. We got our fennel and shallots. I'm just gonna kind of spoon that on the fish. Oh, here it is. We're gonna add like a little quarter cup of white wine. There we go. Oh my goodness, I didn't even have a glass of white wine poured, poured for me. You know what, I'm gonna change this up because I wanna add the lemon juice to it too. But if you had more fish in here, I'd add a little bit more. Oops, where did it go? Here, we're gonna, we're gonna put it in this little container. It's slightly more than a tablespoon, but I think it'll be okay. So we got our lemon juice in here, quarter cup of wine, I'm gonna combine it. And the reason I wanna combine it because I just don't want a flavor of wine here and a little more lemon juice over here. This way, it's all together. We're just gonna kind of drizzle that over the fish on top and then surround it. We're gonna put a little bit of bread crumbs on top of it. And if some of the bread crumbs fall into the sauce, that's okay. This is what our fish looks like. And we're gonna put it back in the oven um, for about another 10 minutes. Uh, make sure you don't overcook the fish because then it turns tough and it dries out. So I think about 10 minutes for this and some of the wine sauce, wine sauce will thicken or evaporate. Okay, now, what do we do now? I think we're gonna saute the mushrooms. Okay, this pan, we're gonna saute the mushrooms in there. <clears throat> Get them cooked up a little bit. In this blue pan, we have the rice. and this pan over here, we have the green beans. Let's see how our rice is going. So, plain rice with a little fennel happening in there. Then we're gonna add in the mushrooms. Let me move it over here so you guys can see a little better. Let me just add a little bit of green. Oh, uh, green onions, scallions. I think those are good. Oh. Look at the green beans. And just to dress them up a little bit, I am going to put probably about a sliver, a little pad of butter on here. Stir it around. I mean, this is simple. I mean, you got, we do so much with our green beans. If I used uh, the long fresh green beans or from the grocery store, fresh green beans. I really like the almonds with a little lemon zest. No, orange, just a, a like a tablespoon of orange juice or fresh squeezed oranges, orange zest. And then um, I do toasted almonds on them. So yeah, my rice is done. So I'll dish that up. I'm gonna miss these little feathery things. I kind of like my fan. Don't you like my fan? Ooh, yeah, I like my little fawns, fawns I think they call them. And I took the fish out of the oven and here it is. This is cod with white rice, mushrooms and green onion and green beans. So it's cod with fennel, shallots and a white wine butter sauce, lemon. White wine, lemon, butter sauce. Oh my gosh, I gotta come up with the title for this. So go to amyroloffslittlekitchen.com or my YouTube channel, which you'll definitely find all the videos and all the recipes over there as well. So from my kitchen to yours, enjoy. And thanks for joining me.